I'm Laura, and I'm here with... Um, uh, ben, I'm co-president of the Durham Review. I'm Daisy, I'm the other co-president. Uh, I'm Bob, I'm a writer, performer with the Durham Review. The Durham Review is a nationally renowned sketch comedy group comprising of a small group of comedians from the University of Durham. The group writes and performs multiple sellout shows in Durham, but also across the UK, including Cambridge, Oxford, Leeds, Bristol, and the Edinburgh Fringe Festival each year. Previous shows have included Unfinished Business, of which Palatinet has said has been nothing short of spectacular, as well as Comedy Fest and The Good, The Bad, and The Durham Review. Great, so um, can you tell me a bit about your last project, um, Unfinished Business? What was the inspiration behind the piece? Um, yeah, so the idea, of the, the premise of the show was that we were um, kind of the ghosts of the Durham Review coming back. We never got to do our last show, so on finished business, we'll do the show again. Um, and it's just kind of lots of little bits, um, lots of little sketches, kind of unrelated and then some like through lines in the story. Um, yeah. Is there anyone in particular that you look up to or have, has influenced the career so far? Um, I really like CB Martin. I, I hadn't heard of her before I joined the group. Uh, and then she came and did a set uh, at the opening of this stage, actually the reopening of, of the refurbishment. Um, and she got really big on Twitter over COVID, and I really enjoyed her sketches. The internet as well has massively changed the game. Things like memes have changed the nature of comedy. Things that we find funny as a generation, which my parents would never understand. <laughs> um, with regards to my like comedy inspiration, I'm, I'm always compared I'd like to say to, to Steve Coogan, but just Alan Partridge himself. <laughs> so, um, notably when I got impaled on a spike once. So would you say that's the weirdest thing that you've ever had to do on stage? Mm. Oh no, that was, no, that that was, was a real, real event. <laughs> 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 it was on 24 hours near me. Oh, I don't like to talk about it. It's your Facebook cover photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's my TV yeah. debut. But <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what's the weirdest thing that's happened to us on stage? My favourite moment, one of my favourite moments was in the last show when all of those three people playing corpses and all of them corpse <laughs> at once. I just felt, you know, when you're meant to be stiff on stage and I just felt my shoulders go. And it, was just, yeah. it was great when we were all corpsing, the audience sort of reacted nicely. We actually had to sort of ride the waves of their laughter and get yeah. and elongate the sketch like quite a long, for a long time. Um, and that was really quite fun. <laughs> The audience participation sketches are always like one of my favourite because you see like the fear in people's eyes when they know they're coming up on stage. Can your mum shouts that when you were doing some audience participation? Don't be so mean. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is this something you see yourself doing in the future? Is it like stepping stone into a little comedy acting? Fingers crossed. Um, <laughs> we put a lot of time and effort in, and I think it's something we really want to continue when we're not students anymore. But yeah, it's nice. I think the, one of the best parts of the review is the experience you get, you know, am amassing an audience of, you know, over thousands, cumulatively. So, um, it shows from our alumni as well, like, um, Nish Kumar, Ed Gamble and Stevie Martin were all in the group when they were here. Jeremy Vine. And Jeremy Vine. Um, I know if you watch this, this is going to be really disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to say. Is there, do you have any particular favourite, uh, stage of the like, my favourite stage uh, I performed on with the group was definitely the Cambridge Arts Theatre because um, it's just so gorgeous there. And we sold out. They were a nice audience. It was a so lovely like audience, and uh, I think it was the best. It's, it's less about the, the stage; it's all about the audience. You yeah. can tell in like seconds when you when we start doing our material whether they're on side and whether they're going like yeah. being up for it or not. Like some days at Fringe, you have an audience where you're like, oh yes, they're like really into this. Sometimes. You can go out and just be like, this audience is not up for it at all. We've got a show coming up on the 5th of December, um, which is like with all the comedy groups in Durham. It's going to be awesome. We have so we some... Shout out. Who else is coming? Um, yeah, we've got the Stan Society. Um, we've got Butter Toast. And yeah, we've got, coming back to MC the night, we've got um, Brogan and Tessa Carlin, who... One of our alumni. And then we've got a, um, like a special headliner to announce soon. Yeah. But it's, uh, we sort of wanted to create a show that was a bit like a Durham comedy variety show. So that's the Durham Durham late night comedy lock in, uh, which is yeah, for December, is our first one. Be there. Yeah. Be there. <laughs> Where can the people find you on social media? So we're on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter, all at the Durham Review. 
Our next show is in the Assembly Rooms here um, on the 5th of December. Um, come along, it's only £3 a ticket. Um, it's going to be awesome. Yeah. yeah, so make sure you follow them on all social media platforms and attend their show. Um, yeah, that was it. Thank you guys. Thanks I'm so very much. Nice. Thank you. Enjoy it. It's nice yeah, to get out of the luck. house, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs>